You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it and when I get the money back, then baby girl, you Hey, what's up, besties? Me. Welcome back to another video. As I told you guys before, we're about to get into getting our lives together to prepare for the new year. So, hello. Hi, I'm Elaine Michelle. If this is your very first time seeing or hearing or, you know, seeing my hands because I ain't going to show my face today, but <laughs> I am Elaine Michelle and I'm your new best friend. And I hope that you will click the subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you don't miss any more of our videos. Videos. And I said R because we are a team, we work together, and we help each other out through budgeting, planning, um, organization, money saving tips, nails, all, all of that, okay? So I hope that you guys will go ahead and subscribe. Today we're going to get into cube money. Now I've did some previous videos on um, digital cash envelopes, and so I wanted to show you guys because now I have like full on access and I'm so excited. I have my card, I have the app, and I'm ready to get started started with digital cash envelopes. It's been a long time coming, um, again, because as you guys know, I worked with Proactive Budget, which is now Cube Money, and so they've gotten some features that I'm sure a lot of people are going to like and appreciate. So I hope that you guys will get into this with me. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just gonna show you um, how I'm gonna be doing my cash envelopes digitally, and maybe give you guys a sneak peek of how it works, like actually, you know, maybe going to get some gas, because I actually need gas at this time, to show you how the actual cube works so let's go ahead and go into the cube this is me using my face ID all right <laughs> so I am on my iPad but this is available on your phone as well as you can see like this is what it's made for your phone but I blew it up shout out to Chakisha for telling me to hit the little um, lines at the bottom because that does a thing all right so I have my money in here that I am ready to start with so let's go ahead and just get into it now this money was um, some free money that we had to play around with and so I just left it in there it says free coins because I know I'm silly like that but I have all of my categories here so we have our sinking funds all in one cube then we have gas groceries eating out household personal care and of course like I said the free coins now now, so if you wanted to add another category you would just click that plus button you would name that cube so whatever you wanted to name it and then hit create this cube that's it all right so now we're going to start depositing money into our actual accounts now the reason why I like this so much is because once I get paid I can literally like go ahead and have the transfer set up so that it's coming over by the time it gets approved and all that stuff it'll already be hitting over here and I can do my cash envelopes so it's really super um, like easy to use um, there are some different features they're working on still like having um, I want to say what are the ways I have to look it up for sure um, because I used the like transfer from my bank but there is one that you can like they give you the account numbers for cube money and then you can transfer from your bank to there if that makes sense so like I did one where like I requested a transfer from cube money but you can go over to your bank and send the money directly over there so it's a whole thing um you guys can check it out once you guys get into the app and don't forget down below there is a code that you can use to sign up for cube money and get started as well and when I say get started they'll put you on the list because they have not I'm still in beta testing I don't know if I said that already this is still in beta but if you guys joined um last year you did any of the things that were like um, pre beta people like you're one of them you probably already have access to this but they are giving like some access out to different people but you can sign up for the lifetime membership so once you pay your price like you're in you're set you're good for life all right so with that let's go ahead I wrote down um, all my things so I wouldn't have to keep flipping back and forth because y'all know me I'll be all over the place all right so we're going to click that cube. Now, if I wanted to open it because I wanted to spin from it, then I would just hit open the cube. But our cube balance over here is zero. We have done nothing, okay? So we're gonna transfer money. In my cloud, I have $400, which is the money that I transferred over from my bank. So I'm just gonna click here for the cloud, and I'm going to select which cube I want to put the money in. So we were in sinking funds. So we're gonna do that, and we're going to, uh-oh, We're going to transfer from the cloud to my cube money. Okay, so then we're going to go to the sinking fund. Click sinking fund. <laughs> All right, and the next step, we're going to do the transfer amount, which is going to be $80. Okay, 
and you can preview a transfer summary so that you can see what it looks like and then my transfer date is saying uh, within 30 minutes I want it to happen within 30 minutes so clear and simple pretty easy preview transfer summary this is just making sure that I'm putting the right money from where so my cloud is where I house all the money before I go ahead and start moving it to the different categories all right so we're going to create that transfer transfer created and we can see my transfers here so transferred from the um, from the cloud is $80 and as you can see now we have $80 in our cube all right so we can go back through and we can just keep doing this over and over and over again so again let's just do it so if you were you know doing your cash envelopes this would be the same thing this is how we are stuffing our cash envelopes so for gas um i know that my gas is a little bit <laughs> um what did i just do hold on let me, I can't talk in, in person for the same time. Okay. So for my gas, it's been pretty steady, pretty copacetic. I use about $30 in gas um, every week and a half. And so I'm able to make, you know, $60 work for uh, two weeks is usually enough, if not um, a little bit too much. It just depends on what all I have going on. Um, I won't be using, let's see, this is coming up on a holiday. So I have this weekend that I have next week. I think that $60 is gonna be fine. That's absolutely fine. If we had to go in, we would go in into our sinking funds and grab some more of um, like our money for traveling over here. So anyways, let's click on um, our gas cube. So it's showing that it's open. That's what I just clicked on, it's showing that it's open, but we're not doing that. So we're just gonna click down here to add money, right? So we need to have $60 in gas. So make sure you put them O's down there. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, done. All right, so we're moving money from our cloud and we're putting it into here. So our cloud only had, um, this is what it looks like once we move the money, right? So we're putting that $60 over here. So we're moving that, boom. Now our gas has $60. So we're not putting anything in groceries because as you guys know, I told you guys I have um, my food stamps for the next couple of months um, that they backdated for me. So I'm not going to um, be worrying about doing groceries on here. We have our eating out category. Let's add some money there. All right, so for eating out, we're still at about $50. I think this is still okay. We'll see, we'll adjust it as necessary, but um, I'll keep an eye on that because it is a lot more cumbersome to leave work and go get food and it's so easy to just like order food and have it delivered now but during this time it's peak season so they have this managers thing and so they bring us food and all this stuff so it's pretty cool so I think I'm actually going to be saving some money here so we're just going to move that $50 over and that's done now, as you can see because I clicked on it I opened that cube and all I have to do is click that X and I'm going to close the cube so you're opening and closing the cube I'll explain that a little bit more um, as we go through but I just want to make sure we get all of our monies together so for our household items still doing good on the $40 a month uh, I mean $40 a paycheck and that's just for me to restock the things that I use so we still have a lot of Tide left we still have a lot of Downy um, and I've been buying um, toilet paper and paper towel um, every time I buy my groceries just to keep up so I'm never behind um, on that again because for some reason when stuff starts hitting the fan toilet paper leaves the band too so uh, yeah that's the whole thing so we're gonna do $40 here just moving that money from the cloud and boom now we have that and I'm just gonna you know keep going in and closing them because that's the thing there all right and then we have our personal care personal care I still have it at $70 and that's anything that I want to spend it on that's like whatever I'm feeling good about <laughs> that's how I feel like personal that's what personal care represents for me um so let's add some money to personal care and that's $70 okay I'm gonna move that money over all right so we have personal care we have our household we have our gas groceries all right one more we need to add which we're gonna name that cube entertainment so we're adding this cube on here entertainment do do where'd you go okay and we're just going to um, add some money we're adding $50 over here and as you can see it's telling you like how much you have left in your um, cloud to move money around into so that's pretty cool too I like that aspect of it 
All right, so we're just going to close this cube. All right, so now we have all of our categories that we normally use. Again, we're keeping the groceries on there because that will probably come back. Um, and then we have gas, eating out, household, personal care, and entertainment. So this is what I really love. So if I wanted to go and start spending money right now, like if I wanted to go get some gas, this is what... I would do um, so I'm sorry I'm getting ahead of myself so let's talk about opening and closing the cubes so the reason why I really liked this particular program and they started it back with proactive budget you actually have to go in and open the cube before you can spend it so you can't just get in there and like if somebody steals your card they literally just stole a card they would have to have stole your card have the app and know how to work the app in order to get the money in your digital cash envelopes. So for me, this is that extra piece of protection, as well as right now with everything going on, you know, having cash on hand is great. It's a great thing to have. I think everyone should always have some cash on hand but for me like doing different things especially like gas i was going inside and having to pay for gas um you know they don't really i don't really want a transaction with with uh cash as much as possible because of everything that's going on so this is like another safe factor for me so before you can spend anything you have to open up the cube so let me show you guys an example of that so we hit entertainment right we hit entertainment, right? Okay, there we go. And now it shows up that the cube is open. And if you see there, it says you have 30 minutes left to use this cube. So if you are out somewhere, let's say I was going to, um, what's entertainment for me? Because we don't go to the movies anymore. It was like, this is like a category that's going to sit there. But anyways, look, let's say we were going to the movies. So before I buy my movie tickets, I would open up my cube and then I would just make sure that it's, you know, open, everything's good. And then I would go on and proceed with my transaction. Then from there, when I got done with it, I would just hit close the cube and the cube would be closed. And that way, nothing else gets spent besides what's inside of that cube so it won't approve anymore because I had to open up the cube that can be used so it's not just going to overdo it now gas is an exception for this because you know they have to pre-certify you for a certain amount um, before you can um, get it like there's pre-authorizations and stuff so the gas category does work a little bit different from other ones but you'll you'll be able to see that when you're using this particular program so yeah this is what I really love about this. Now all of my money is separated. It's in one place. It's digital. I can use this online. So like if I'm buying something from Amazon, I can use my card on Amazon. I have a physical card. I have a digital card. So it goes into my wallet. So I can use it any way that I would normally like use my cash envelopes. And it just helps me keep a really good track of it. I love digital cash envelopes. Like I, I don't know if you guys can like hear it in my voice, but I truly, really love this. It just makes a a lot of sense for me I love cash envelopes for the um, sensibility of it all for the accountability of it all is what I really like that I am literally like I can't spend more than I have in that envelope so this is that same theory I know there are a lot of um, companies who offer you know a form a way for you to do cash envelopes but is not in this manner like I feel like it takes a whole lot of effort it puts a lot into it and this just does what you need it to do now eventually cube money is going to be offering some other features and um, that'll be like bill pay so you'll be able to do your subscriptions things like that will be able to come directly from there so you won't have to worry about like opening up your cube it will just be in there so whenever it gets billed they know when it's billed and it'll automatically take it out so they are working on some really cool features so that this is a one-stop shop for you you can literally um, have your checks deposited on there this is where they're trying to get to where your checks are deposited on there your bills can be paid through here your cash envelopes through here it is literally about to be lit over here in the cube money app so i hope that you guys enjoyed me stuffing my digital cash envelopes more so just giving you guys an overview of the app and how it works how i add the money in there um, so next time I'll kind of go into depth of the things I've been spending money on in my cash envelopes if I really need this if I you know kind of like that but I wanted to introduce you guys to the app and how it works now that we have it available so you should highly you should highly 
I would highly recommend that you start looking at cash envelopes as a way for you to save some money. If I haven't said this already, what's the benefit of cash envelopes? The benefit is so that you don't overspend in those categories you struggle with the most. This system now, like I said, with it being digital, you can get the companion card. So if you have a spouse or you have kids, they have a kid's card as well. So you guys are able to not necessarily, one person carries around this envelope this day and the next day you both have cards, you both have access to the app and you can use it. But it just keeps you on track with the money that you're spending. All of my cash envelope um, areas are places that I would struggle if I didn't set particular, like, if I didn't set a budget for it and I didn't stay on top of it. And I, if I just said, oh, well, I'll just have this extra money, blah, blah, blah. You know, because at one time, I think household was at $50 and I was able to get it down to 40, you know, instead of spending so much there. Entertainment money, that's like a category. If something was to happen, I don't necessarily need that because I could just not do something. Like, especially during these times, I mean, we really ain't doing too much anyway, but you know, neither here nor there. Personal care, that's anything I buy. Like, I do my own nails. If something comes out, and I want to get it that's my personal care my um, massage if I want to get a massage if I want to do self-care any self-care items um, and that's even like I'm getting ready I'm actually gonna use this to order some um, lemonades uh, they're they're like healthy lemonades or whatever I'm gonna use it for that like just anything that I need to take care of myself personally is in there um, and, and it just holds me accountable for what I'm spending once I get over that there's nothing left you know like I, I, I can't go and spend no more because it's gonna stop me so I really highly recommend you checking out doing some cash envelopes for you and your family um, my single moms out there this is a great way to get started with your kids getting them to understand how money works set them up with some cash envelopes give them some lunch money cash envelopes personal spending cash envelope you know uh, a tithing cash envelope so that they're saving their money and putting their money towards tithes it's a great way to introduce how to manage your money and that's what cash envelopes does for me it's really about managing your money and if you remember in the actual budget planner, I have a cash envelope tracker so you can track all that you have spent if you want to. Um, and, and like I said, this is just like an extra bonus for me. I use the digital cash envelopes, but before I did have physical ones with cash. And so keeping up with it was, you know, using that transaction log inside of the budget planner, which I can definitely show you guys that right now because I have the budget planner <laughs> right in front of us. So let's just take a look, see here. Why not, huh? Why not? So you have your cash envelope, so your category, your starting balance, and then most of the time people are refilling it twice a month, and then what you ended up with. And then most of the time for me, what I would do with my cash envelopes when I finished, I would take that money and use that to pay down debt. So if I didn't spend all of my fast food money, I just take that money and I put it towards a debt. It's just, it's just another way for you to you know keep up with your money. I'm just giving you some money management techniques that you can use and implement inside of your household to really give you that jump start. So just think about it. Think, 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 think about it. Put it into use if you guys are looking for a way to just save some money. And I will have the link down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I love you guys in real life. And I'll catch you in the next one. Mwah. KK, bye. You're special and she reckless. And babe, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end it. And when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. Oh. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing it.